Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now a handoff to Henry. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? High throw, but he makes the catch. 20! And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play there for Minnesota. 41 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Touchdown! TJ Hawkinson. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Vikings take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Now Carter to start the drive. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And he's got his big tight end here. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Operating from the gun, Calhoun. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. To throw on second down, Calhoun throwing middle and it's complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second down, a run with Carter. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rush. And he's going to be taken down, back around the 35-yard line. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will knock this down to still a very large 29-point deficit. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Consecutive pass be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Operating from the gun, Dawson. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Again to Henry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Working with second and five now. Operating from the gun, Dawson. And yeah, this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a leaping catch. He's got it. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. They'll give it to him again. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Derrick Henry with insight now of the all-time record for touchdowns in a career. And the Vikings have taken a five-touchdown lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Calhoun. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. So here are the Vikings to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. On the give, this is their fullback. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 
Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. 129 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. The wall didn't work very well on that play. Defenders on third and short know it's going to be a quick read. And really, the quarterback's just going to turn around and hand it off. So that way, you're able to diagnose the play and try and get to the point of attack. But when you're dealing with a fullback, it's hard to knock him backwards. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. That's Hines. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. A first down carry for Henry. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A lot of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. From the gun on third down, Dawson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. 